بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Quranic Arabic webinars. This lesson is how to recognize joined up Arabic alphabets. Objectives. We will learn how to recognize joined up letters in Arabic. We will see how letters are joined at the beginning, middle and end of a word. And we will see when letters cannot join to other letters. Example of a joined letter. Here we have Jim written on its own. And here we have Jim written at the beginning, in the middle and at the end. So things we have to recognize here is when you have the joined up letters, some of the letter may be lost. So here with the Jim, they've taken the top part of the letter, kept the dot so you know it is the Jim, but dropped the main big curve underneath the letter. And we can see here that Jim itself is allowed to join to the next letter and itself can be joined to the previous letter. Another example, so here we have the letter Dal. And what we've done here, we've taken the letter Jim, which can join to the next letter, and we've joined it onto the Dal. So Jim can join to the next letter. Dal can be joined to the previous letter. So we've seen that here. However, dal itself cannot join to the next letter. So we've put another jim after the dal, but you can see it does not connect and is not allowed to join. So you'll never see dal joined up to the next letter, but you can see it joined to the previous letter. So going through the alphabets, if we start with the hamza, so we have hamza sitting on top of the alif. We've got it written here two times on its own, Hamza on top of an alif, Hamza underneath an alif. Here we have Hamza joined to the lamb, so we have lamb and then Hamza, and it's the Hamza on top of the alif, and we have another variation which is lamb joined to the Hamza sitting underneath an alif. The next one is the letter Ba, and we've got Ba joined to itself three times, so you can see it joined at the beginning, in the middle and at the end. Again, it's the number of dots that you need to look at to spot the letter itself. Ta joins in the same sort of way. You can see the same curves going on except for the two dots. So again, it joins in the middle to the letter before and after. And tha follows the same pattern. So ba, ta, tha all follow the same pattern. You have to just look for the number of dots to differentiate. The next set of letters, alphabets five and five two seven, is Jim, Ha and Kha. And you can see here they all follow the same sort of pattern. They can join to the next letter and can be joined to the previous letter. Again, look for the dots. The Jim will have one dot underneath it, the Ha will have no dots underneath it, and the Kha will have one dot above. So in all cases, they've just taken the top of the letter or they draw the whole letter if it's written at the end of a word. Alphabets 8 to 11, we have Dal, Dal, Ra and Za. Now these all follow the same pattern uh, in the sense that none of these letters can actually be joined to the letter after. However, they can be joined to the letter before. So again, if we take the dal example, we've got dal on its own. We've got a lamb joining to a dal, so dal joining to the previous letter. But you can see the dal itself cannot join to the lamb after it because the dal is not allowed to join to the letter after it. And that is the same for all of these letters. Seen, sheen. Sod and Dod. So these are alphabets 12 to 15. Now to recognize these with the seen and the sheen you look for the small double curves. So they've effectively taken the two small curves and left the big one out unless it's joined at the end of the word. So again if you look at the seen it can join to the next letter and it can be joined to the previous letter. The sheen is exactly the same except for you look for the three dots. Sod and Dod they keep the main first loop and drop the big 
curve after it and you'll see at the end of the letter it's drawn as normal so that should be quite reasonably easy to recognize and the board will have one dot above every time alphabet 16 to 19 so this is tha, dha, ain, and rain. the tha and the dha are very easy to recognize and again they can join to the letter in front or before and you just need to look for the dots tha has no dots and the dha has one dot the ain and the rain are one of the more difficult ones to spot in written format because they change their shape quite substantially the ain if we have a look at it you drop the curve underneath when it's at the beginning of a word but the middle and ending you can see the top part of the ain letter itself actually changes to these small sort of um, filled in curves so you must just try to memorize what they look at look like and you'll see on the end of the letter it's still got the big curve but the top of the letter changes now one thing to be aware of you can confuse the first beginning ain with a hamza however hamza will never join directly itself to the next letter again the ain just look for the single dot above alphabets 20 to 23 so fa qaf Kaf and Lam. The Fa and the Qaf follow the same sort of patterns. You just look for the difference in the dot. The Fa has one dot and the Qaf has two dots. They can join to the next letter or the previous letter. The Kaf is one of the uh, difficult ones to spot. At the end of a word it looks exactly the same as you would expect. In the beginning or the middle of the word though it changes to these um, symbols or these shapes that is quite difficult to recognize so this is one of the ones you need to memorize how it actually changes again it can join to the previous letter or to the next letter the lamb is reasonably easy to see um, here we've done lamb joining to lamb joining to lamb um, and that's where you've got this continuous sort of curve so one thing people do get confused with is the lamb and the alif now an alif will never join to the next letter whereas the lamb can join to the next letter